While you were playing baseball, were you actually doing any investing on the side? I started my investing career probably in my early 20s when I was in Seattle, but I started very, very small. I started with a duplex out of Miami, right by uh, where the Miami Heat play in Biscayne. And it took a $48,000 down payment. Um, uh, I sold a watch because I didn't want it to go into my savings and did a little autograph show. And that was my $48,000 down payment. And off we went, a little duplex. And then a few years later, I sold it for double and bought a fourplex and so on and so forth. Now, I go to a lot of investment conferences uh, around the world, and the only former athlete I've ever seen at one of them is you. <laughs> uh, and a couple times I saw you at a J.P. Morgan conference, mm -hmm. and I said, what is he doing here? And people said, well, he's really learning the investment business. I said, but he's taking notes. I mean, nobody takes notes. He's actually taking notes. It's funny, David. When I, when I played baseball for the Texas Rangers around 01, 02, 03, uh, I would go home after the games, and my teammates would make fun of me all the time. They're like, why do you watch so much baseball? So I was always a study guy, right? And I wanted to do my due diligence. Even when I was playing, I remember I would get home and I would watch all the West Coast games because they were still going on, the Dodgers, the Oakland A's, the Giants, uh, the Mariners. And the reason why I was doing that is if I was facing you next week, I wanted to watch every pitch, every tendency, and I had binders. And I would sit there and take notes. If I'm facing David Rubenstein, I'm gonna watch him and take my notes. So when I uh, faced you next week, I was ready to go. I've taken that same discipline and studying and surrounding myself with great people into the business world.